the 20,000 vaccines that um, the supplier uh, supplied for purposes of testing and trial, he has not supplied even the first batch of the vaccines. So and how come that the, that the finance minister, Ken Oforiata, went ahead to pay this colossal amount, 60 million Ghana cities, to the supplier in violation of the terms of the agreement, in violation of the 1992 constitution, in violation of the public procurement law, and in violation of his fiduciary responsibility to the people of this country. And indeed, so, if, if, if you look at why the... some of us are calling for the head of the finance minister. We right. cannot entrust public resources on the mega resources of state into the hands of such an incompetent, reckless, and corrupt public if, if you look at the demanding if, that he must be made to resign or be, be given a sack with immediate effect. So, if you look at the uh, Ms. Jenfi, I was going to make about if you look at the parliament, the committee that was established to probe this deal, they highlighted a number of these things that you made reference to. And then also the Bank of Ghana's own acknowledgement of this particular you know, uh, request for payment. There was no specific decision taking as to what should be done to these persons involved in this transaction every step of the way. Now, Parliament is on recess. No decision was taken. Is, is the NDC minded? I mean, beyond what you have put in this statement that you've issued, is the NDC minded to, as it were, trigger other avenues of probe to establish specific detail of what you are asking for? Well, the parliamentary probe um, process has not ended. Um, you would recall that the MPP majority side in, in parliament sought to frustrate a vote on this uh, report. And so a vote was not taken on the report. The report has not been adopted by the House. Um, our side had plans of passing a motion of uh, censure, you know, against the Minister for Health. But all that could not be done because the, de the deputy, uh, the second deputy speaker who was presiding, refused to take a vote on the matter. But they haven't given up yet. Um, they are waiting for Parliament to come back from recess and then reactivate some of these processes. But, you see, the back stops with the president and not the opposition. The president is appointing authority. He mm -hmm. appointed the Minister for Health and the Minister for Finance. They okay. work at his business. That is why he has been given the power to hire and to fire them. Clearly, the finance minister, who happens to be his cousin, has proven so, that he, had, he doesn't have the interest of this country at heart. He has proven to be very reckless, okay. very incompetent, so, and one who cannot be entrusted with the public affairs. And so the appropriate thing for the president to do under the circumstances is to sack the finance minister with his immediate effect. Right. And, 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 that's the, that that, yeah. that's, mean, that's the call that you have made. I mean, that's the call that you have made in this unlawful. statement. And so that one is settled. But right. the finance minister, who appears to be okay. hiding in the shadows of Ajima Manu, we think Mr. Jenfi, so and that, must be with that's immediate. a specific call that you make in that statement because, that you put out. But for the vigilance of the yes. NDC minority and other people, you know, in the media and so on, Ghana would have lost minimum twenty-four million dollars under this highly inflated transaction. I mean, why must public officers who are paid by the Ghanaian taxpayer subject the people of this country? to such, you know, uh, unfair treatment. So mm. that right. is the only appropriate okay. thing that can be done by the president under the circumstances because clearly it doesn't we'll see how, like yes, the, the coming days will look like on this particular issue. Thing by resigning. Thank you. Uh, Sami Jemfi is the, the National Communications Director of the NDC talking about that demand uh, for the finance minister to be sacked because of the payment that was made in violation of the clause in this contract. Portia.
Let's go back to our earlier story where the new patriotic party has warned that any attempt to back IPAC through a legislation as proposed by the NDC will interfere with the independence of the Electoral Commission. Director of Elections of the NPP, Evans Nimako, reacting to the proposals for electoral reforms by the NDC argued that the NDC cannot use the back door to present recommendations when they have on many occasions boycotted IPAC meetings. He spoke with Gottfried Tanam. Until the constitution is amended, we must not create anybody that will threaten the independence of the Electoral Commission. And I'm saying that if it is in the minds of the NDC that they, they win elections based on a constituted uh, EC body, then they are kidding themselves. And I'm saying that for us as New Patriotic Party, irrespective of who the EC body is, will win elections. He insisted the NDC should disabuse its mind that whatever they say should be taken by all. We started in, in 1992. The New Patriotic Party, when we won elections in 2000 and in 2016, did not appoint the Electoral Commission. And we are going about the issue that the EEC, because was appointed by the MPP government, we've won two elections and we didn't appoint the EEC. He said it is strange for the NDC to say they performed creditably in the parliamentary election but challenged the presidential election. This is an election that was conducted by the same electoral commission and they are out there accusing Almost all stakeholders who disagree with them. They did not honor the invitation by the Electoral Commission to attend IPAC meeting that sought to review the 2020 presidential and parliamentary elections. But have decided to come to the table with their own proposals. It is their own views and they are entitled to them. The NDC, through a stakeholder engagement, has come out with some 34 proposals for electoral reforms, which include IPAC being backed by legislation through an amendment to the Electoral Commission Act 93, Act 451, which should spell out its composition and functions. Now to some sad news tonight, a justice of the Supreme Court, Justice Marfo Sao, has passed on. He was 64 years. Let me give you a brief background on the justice of the Supreme Court. And the late Justice Marfo Sao was born on February 3, 1956 at Asin in the Asin South District of the Central Region. He was admitted to practice in Ghana as a barrister at law and solicitor in 19. 84. The late Justice of the Supreme Court, after qualifying as a barrister at law in 1984, worked at the office of the Provisional National Defense Council, PNDC, and entered private legal practice prior to being called to the High Court bench in June 2002. And the late justice was nominated together with three other judges, Justice Agnes Doji, Justice Professor Ni Ashikote, and Justice Nene Amegache by President Ekufado in 2018. And he was one of the seven justices of the Supreme Court who were empaneled to adjudicate the 2020 presidential election petition. May his soul rest in peace. And certainly so. And um, he also told the appointments committee uh, of parliament that corruption is a national problem that requires prayers. Just to a quick recall of what he will be remembered for. Uh, Judge Justice Samuel Mafasa told members of the appointments committee, as you see right there. I think we need to pray. Yes, I think we need to pray. Uh, we need to pray. We need to pray uh, for is 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 the values. I, I think it's the values that people, Lord, people, uh, people have placed money. Uh, I'm more sorry, than, I'm not checking. Uh, yeah. I didn't check your religious donation, but. Uh, 
Full gospel I'm business. I'm national director of the full gospel business uh, fellowship. Well, do you think prayer are enough? Prayers are enough? Oh yes, uh, the prayer is a, is the way we pray and uh, the direction of the prayer. <laughs> I mean, if you pray and ask God to change the mindset of our people, to change their values, and, 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 and most of I think we say that we all read the Bible, we all read the Quran, and I think that the tenets of the Bible and the Quran is against corruption. And also at his veteran to become a Supreme Court judge, the late Justice Samuel Mahfuso told members of Parliament Appointment Committee that some accused persons are mentally deranged, hence the need for judges to exhibit more patience towards them in sentencing. We need also to train judges to understand uh, what goes into the minds of people. For example, somebody uh, who is charged of uh, constantly uh, visiting violence on the, on the wife. The, that person may have a psychological problem. So we, there's a need to also train judges. And we have been doing that. Recently, we, the Mental uh, Health Authority uh, organized a seminar for judges, and which I attended myself. And we realized that as judges, we need to be very patient with the accused persons who are brought before us, because some of them may, have, may be suffering from mental uh, disorders and other things, so that we can make the appropriate orders. Uh, to the psychiatry hospital for them to be examined rather, rather than just throwing them into uh, prison. Well, a so rest in perfect peace. The Internal Audit Agency Board wants Parliament to expedite action in approving the amendment of the current Internal Audit Agency Act 2003-658 when it's presented to the House to allow for restructuring of the sector. Board Chair J.B. Winfall is worried internal auditors will remain compromised if the delivery of their duties at public agencies if they are not giving the autonomy to work. Some of our internal auditors tell us that, look, the report I'm being asked by those who might have caused the infringement to submit the report to them before it goes out. Now, when they look at the report, and it's uh, affecting them, they'll turn around and ask the internal auditor whether he or she wants to, you know, remain in office or he wants to be sent to some outskirt post. Now, these poor guys have families. So because of that, they are forced to compromise, either amend their re report or not even submit it at all. So it's you and I who lose at the end of the day but he or she is also protecting her personal interests and that is the issue that is why passing the bill is going to take away that power that those bosses currently have is going to make sure that those on the field are effectively supervised by the agency is going to enable the head of the internal audit and the deputies to be able to investigate things going on badly and then the report could be generated from their end which means that the MMDA and MDA bosses will not have the ultimate power to determine the fate of the auditor. The Director of Research at the Institute of Economic Affairs, Dr. John Kwache, has decried the lack of fairness in the determination of salary increments for public sector workers. He says the only way to address the current labor agitations is for governments to demonstrate goodwill in salary negotiations with public sector workers. Senior staff of the universities in Ghana suspended a three-week strike with the expectation that government will pay them arrears on their tier two contributions after the principal was paid. The Ghana Medical Association has given an indication of withdrawing their services if their conditions are not improved. President of the Ghana National Association of Teachers, Nat Philip Alassin, cautioned government on what will happen if their demands are not met. The current system of remuneration in the public sector is not fair. It favors some categories of office holders in the public service. And we are not going to agree. We will not agree to that. We are calling for the president. Otherwise, there will be no peace. And the country will become ungovernable. 
Director of Research at the Institute of Economic Affairs, IEA, Dr. John Kwachi, says the only way to address these labor agitations is for government to demonstrate goodwill in salary negotiations with public sector workers. Article 71 office holders. Let's also hold the line there because we are in difficult times and everybody has to tighten their belt. Okay? Now, if you don't do that, then you allow the Article 71 office holders, you increase it for them, okay? Then you go to the TUC people and you say, you will get 4%. <laughs> of course, they are not going to accept it. And then I hear you, the university, you tag people are also on, on strike, okay? You see, if you don't demonstrate a commitment to doing something yourself, there's a need for belt tightening, so we are all tightening. A group calling itself aggrieved public sector workers has hinted at hitting the streets on August 18 to reject the 4% salary increment for public sector workers. Tell you what, a lot more joining this earlier today, the Coalition of Consent Teachers, National Association of Graduate Teachers, NAGRAT, all joining that particular call to have the conditions of service addressed. But Michael Owusu, a free year, popularly known as Teacher Kojo, who was summoned before the disciplinary committee of the Acroform District Educational Directorate for what they termed as his professional misconduct, has described his experience at the meeting as a total joke. Now, uh, according to him, the director and human resource officer who issued the summons was not in the meeting, which he says lasted only eight minutes. He says he opted to resort to legal procedures when asked to choose between addressing the concerns in a family manner and choosing the legal route. Now, the meeting has also been scheduled to a later date during which the committee is expected to put to him the specific professional breaches that have occasioned the summons. There are widespread concerns. The invitation is in connection with his campaign to fix GES, in which he is championing reforms in the education sector. And even before that disciplinary hearing is concluded, the outspoken teacher has been opening up to us in our latest feature, Rising Voices, to premiere on TV3 later tonight at 9.30. The piece highlights voices of young people in activism and the role of social media in modern day advocacy. Ghana Education Service wants the betterment of Ghana education. I also want the betterment of Ghana education. The people, or let me say the leaders are, um, or, or the, the people at the higher position at Ghana Education, they don't teach. I am the teacher, I teach. So I know what is going on more than them. Their role is to set up their rules and regulations and give it to teachers. At the end of the day, you expect the children to pass. I am the teacher. I am the mediator between you, the institution, and the kid. So I'm supposed to make sure that everything works on perfectly. If it doesn't work, you will blame me. So I'm telling you that this and this and this is what I need to make the children pass their exams or to make teaching and learning effective. So I don't see the need why you should come after me if I'm saying or I'm addressing this. So definitely, if you come after me because I'm saying this, I don't care, but I'll keep on saying it. So, yes, <laughs> uh, the rising voices. Yeah, premieres tonight, 9.30, .30. a piece by Comladum. Certainly, and make a date, please, 9.30 p.m. We're still live here on News 360. We're live on TV3 Gun on Facebook, DSV Channel 279, all across the world on 3news.com. You should also download the 3 News app on the Google Play Store or the App Store as well. Let's get connected. Stay with us. We'll be back shortly with the business news with Eton Amse. Michelle, see. Ah, 
Different era, better result. Time has changed and time has brought Cal Chocolate Toothpaste, healthy gums, anti cavity, fresher breath, and it whitens teeth. Cal Chocolate Toothpaste, Sankofa. Yenchi, Cal Chocolate Toothpaste. Happy, Happy smile. smile. Zuzu, right here in my house. Hey, look up there. Why are you using inferior pen? It was a mistake. I know check you. Acrobat too. I'm gonna knock you out. I know, sir. You deserve quality. Munyadi, munyadi. Don't make mistakes. Stop. You did the right thing. When you are going to buy a paint, don't look left. Don't look right. Go straight and grab the luxury acrylic paint. No be any paint be paint you. The luxury acrylic paint. Paint me champion. Phantom X, new Elise flagship. Be bold, be extraordinary. For generations, Ghanaians have had one thing in common, and that's the way we start our day. Wherever your day will take you, start with the energy from Cadbury Richoco, made from the finest Ghanaian cocoa. This advert is FDA approved. Changing so should you, you If you're dreaming Don't be afraid And in the valleys Keep your head up high Dare to dream with Puma drinks Puma, Puma Yeah, believe it, you can achieve Puma, Puma Oh yeah, clap your hands for the whole new vibe Make me sad if it's so Oh yeah, clap my life Puma, Puma Oh yeah, you drinks a whole new vibe another quality product from casa preco this advertisement has invented and approved by the fda i love football football can be a dirty game on or off the pitch <laughs> even when i'm trying to score at a party stains find a way of tracking me down but i don't worry at all because i have clean soft Use new Cleesoft 360 Deep Clean, a unique formula with active ingredients and enzymes that gets rid of all stubborn stains and leaves your clothes smelling wonderful. Cleesoft, my favorite. Cleesoft 360 Deep Clean, clean all. Concerned about your family's safety at your home or business, worry no more. Get more for any window or door. Get more for unique custom made solutions. Get more. Call Trellidor 0561 242424. Trellidor, Africa's strongest begla proofing. Hello there. We know what matters today, don't we? Hurry up. Follow safety measures. Drive for hours. Grab a perfect spot. Park smoothly and then visit another shop and scroll for the opportunities. Tap to pay. Enjoy that extra reward. Get 10% extra cash back when you pay with Visa. How you pay matters. The business segment is brought to you by MTN, Roma Insecticide Spray and Coil, West Hills Ridge Property, Eden Heights, Universal Merchant Bank, Lufat.
Let's do business now. My name is Eto Namsi. The Trade Union Congress has asked the Finance Minister Ken Ofriata to go after the over 5,000 lawyers he claims have been evading tax. Addressing a news conference on the Media Budget Review, Secretary General of the TUC, Dr. Yalba, noted such situations should not be tolerated by government. Dr. Yaba requested the finance minister to ensure that all such persons are roped into the tax net. Too hard to pay taxes must be made to pay taxes. So if you are a lawyer and you are not paying taxes, government should do whatever it takes to make you pay taxes. It cannot be wrong. I mean, if they have identified people who are making money and they have to pay taxes and they are not paying, I mean, it's only right that government does whatever it takes to make sure they pay. Many workers, you know, qualify for tax reliefs, but because of administrative, you know, problems with processing and so on, and the delays, many people don't have the incentive to even apply for reliefs. The TUC boards further raised concerns about the 22 billion cities used by government for the financial sector cleanup. If you look at how much money we have spent to make sure the banks are clean, we should never make a mistake of going back to that state again. Therefore, the Bank of Ghana itself must have to be reformed so that their supervision and regulation and monitoring and everything is superb. The TUC's media budget review also highlighted the need to review the single spine salary structure. Some Ghanaian young entrepreneurs have expressed optimism about government's plan to set up a youth bank. From cheap access to funding to flexibility in payments, entrepreneurs speaking on business focus were hopeful that the initiative will not be politically uh, biased. Ultimately, government intends to make use of the youth bank to create job opportunities for the youth. A young entrepreneur and CEO of Vika Juice Plus, Catherine Asari, says access to funding is a huge challenge for SMEs, stressing the need for the youth bank to fill the gap. Uh, for instance, I, I started my business um, with my savings. So as the year went by, I needed loan to grow the business, to buy um, equipment that mm. could make uh, production easier and faster. But when you approach the banks, it's, it's, it's one way or the other. You go with all your documents, your registration, and it's away from you because you're an SME. A young farmer and CEO of Go For Me Ghana, Nanajima and Prempe, shares same concerns, but adds that not all startups need funding. Sometimes what people need is not the real, is not cash. Mm -hmm. They need a tractor. For example, in Gushegu, which is uh, about a 14 hour drive from Accra, mm. You would struggle to get treasures at harvest, meaning if today you have about 120,000 CDs sitting there, you can buy 10 treasures and be in the agribusiness space because your 12 treasures, with one costing about 12,000, will be serving about three districts. An investment and management consultant, David Waku, expressed worry the policy may die once this government leaves power. The question is what we are doing. How sustainable will it be? What kind of skills are the young people learning? If government change hand, will this program continue? He has meanwhile advised that the policy incorporates sector-specific investors for partnerships. Really, some young people, it is not the money they want. They want a skill train. They want seed. They want access to land. They want access to equipment, basic farming equipment to start something. So if, you, if, if I give money to a young person who leaves school and want to go into agriculture, how sure am I or the person giving out the money? Because the, the reality in the finance space, there is no free money. Mm -hmm. Finance Minister Ken Ofriata has inaugurated the reconstituted board of the Ghana Revenue Authority, Securities and Exchange Commission, and the Social Security and National Insurance Trust. The board is expected to work in alignment with government's theme to complete, consolidate, and continue laid down projects and programs. In the office, and that I would uphold, preserve, preserve. The Finance Minister Ken Ofriata 
urged the boards to leverage on the foundation created by the previous team to consolidate the gains made over the past four years. I believe the task for the Reconsider Board is quite clearly laid out. We are taking a trust over a trust that has become increasingly transparent with improved relations with the stakeholders that pursues optimal investment opportunities. You must work together and align your activities with the three C's that we have for this year. That is completing the tax that you have, consolidating the gains we have made, and a continuity to ensure uh, your future robustness of the trust. The role of digitalization on improving public service delivery and enhancing customer experience cannot be overemphasized. And there is no better time than now for us to take the snap to digital experience to the next level. It has taken government seven months to reconstitute the new boards. Old Mutual Life Assurance Ghana has launched Obrapat Retirement Salary, uh, an insurance package aimed at providing solutions for workers aged 50 and above. Persons who sign on to the package stand to receive a guaranteed monthly salary from their savings. Old Mutual Ghana provides life assurance, asset management, banking and general insurance services. Aside the company's Tier 2 Master Trust as Power Pension Scheme, the new Obrapa Retirement Salary is to allow workers invest their retirement packages and be receiving monthly salaries for life. It has been birthed out of the need that was recognized quite some time back by society, by the government, by industry players to recognize the need to augment the living for people in retirement. We are offering a guaranteed income for the rest of someone's life. Head of Distribution for Old Mutual Insurance Ghana, ML Cancer, noted the Obrapa initiative is designed to give retirees a peace of mind and outline processes in which interested persons can follow. It is here to solve the current prob problems we have in the space of retirement. Government has actually brought some things. But for me, I think once a lump sum is given to someone, a whole lot of thoughts pops up. They tend to use the lump sum for other things, forgetting that they have longer period of years ahead of them to live. You'll find retirees in investing in real estate, investing in all sorts of things. So they tend not to be cash rich, but they become assets rich. So for me, it's a challenge, and this particular product is here to address that. Old Mutual has operated in Ghana since 2013. Remember, there's a lot more business news on 3news.com. And that'll be it for business for tonight. My name is Eton Amsi. Sports is next. excited about the MTN Act 25 promo. Just keep using your MTN number and talk, text, browse and no more to gain points and you could win one of 25 Hyundai Sonata vehicles and cash prizes each month in the MTN Act 25 promo. Dial star 156 hash today and begin your journey to win big. Hey, man, try. Only on MTN. Everywhere you go. Terms and conditions apply.
the show wo eja oba ene hun konkro dim the groom is sick what malaria malaria <laughs> Look fat. Look fat. In Jaja, we have malaria and come on to them. Look fat. Aye, malaria drop a cup. And now you may kiss the bride. Entrance from a surgical and research center. And now aye, look fat. Look fat. A two malaria sent and them. FDA. I just saw a judge in court. Why aja to miss a year? Have you heard of Eden Heights, a luxury gated residential development located in the heart of Accra West, just behind West Hills Mall? It's Accra's best kept secret, a master planned community of modern styled apartments and penthouses bearing the superior seal of grade A finishing. Eden Heights promises residents convenience, security and comfort. For an all inclusive and self contained living experience, Eden Heights is your best choice. You are guaranteed a wide variety of social and recreational conveniences right at your doorstep, including open green spaces, soccer pitch, swimming pools, tennis court, fitness center, playgrounds, and entertainment facilities. Reserve your luxury apartment on our limited promotional offer with just 25,000 CDs. Call 050-1531444 for more information and to book viewing. Terms and conditions apply. Eden Heights, welcome home. Pack up your day with your favorite pack milk and choco biscuit now in exciting new packaging. You gotta have a smile. You gotta have a smile. Only the packaging has changed. The taste remains the same. Crispy and delicious. Pack up your day with packed biscuits and exciting new packs with the same great taste. This advert is FDA approved. Should you rumor to me? Roma insecticide spray at that Roma. Enter Fred, enter Tia, make it her. No way! You make no and don't turn back around, Fanny. And also, I am pussy. Roma insecticide spray and mosquito crap. I'm out there with a shell. Roma, Roma and don't master. This segment is brought to you by Cal Kids Toothpaste. Well, it's now time for the very latest in the world of sports, and Yao Ofosulabi is here. Yao, yeah. bonsoir. Yeah, bonsoir. <laughs> Ça va très bien. Messi. Yeah, and it's man. all about Messi. It's all about Absolutely. Messi, actually. I mean, Alfred, how do you feel about Messi's move? I tell you what, I mean, his reunion with Neymar um, is the highlight for me. Right. And as you said earlier, the headache that uh, Pochettino is going to face um, in selecting his team <laughs> exactly. for the first 11. Right. So, really, let, let's see how it works out. Well, we'll see how it works out. But that's our first story, actually, because it has generated a lot of talk for days. What looks like Messi's fractured relationship with Barcelona and then an emotional farewell press conference and also now an imminent transfer to Paris. Now surely the transfer of the best player in the world will cause the world to pause and listen. There's a lot more in the following report. It is one of the most bizarre transfers in football history. Lano Messi jumping ship to another team. Who would have thought? But the Argentine has made up his mind. On Sunday, in an emotional press conference in Barcelona, the forward said his farewells in tears in front of everyone who matters at the Catalan club. Today, he landed in Paris amidst delirium and excitement from the fans who have long lived with the hope of winning the UEFA Champions League. Messi's acquisition gets them closer to that goal now more than ever before. The deal he signed includes an option to extend by a year and it gives the forward a net salary of about 35 million euros in addition to bonuses. The reaction on social media from the PSG accounts has been just as exciting as the fans who waited outside the airport for their new man. In a tweet to welcome the 34-year-old, 
it said new diamond in Paris. This brings PSG huge commercial value. But beyond that, there's a chance for the man to link up with longtime friend Neymar, with whom he played with en route to Barcelona's Champions League win in 2015. It also gives PSG options in attack. If ever you were wondering if a team created from a video game could be replicated in real life, this is it. Neymar, Messi, Mbappe, with Di Maria in the mix, Julian Draxler, Idrissa Gay, Sergio Ramos in defense, and Gianluigi Donnarumma in goal. Wow. Just wow. Not some more stories. And President of the Ghana Olympic Committee, Ben Nunu Mensa, says Ghana's participation at the Olympic Games was great this year, with a special focus on Samotichi's bronze medal win. He made this known earlier today at the Kotoka International Airport when officials arrived from Tokyo. My colleague Daniel Yabo was there, and as far as reports. Team Ghana officials and Sam Atli landed in Ghana on Tuesday at the Kotoka International Airport after what seems like the country's biggest success at the game since 1992. Ghana Olympic Committee President Benunu Mensah in his address to the media says the nation should be proud of the team despite gaining only a medal. These individual athletes worked their backs off and today they redeemed the image of Ghana at the Olympics and we should be very grateful to them. It was the first time in 29 years that we ever won a medal. It was the first time in almost 50 years that boxing has won a medal at the Olympics. It was the first time somebody had Ghanaian at least stood side by side with the IOC president. It was also the first time in 25 years that our 4 by 100 quartet qualified for the finals of the Olympics. And for me, I think that was the biggest achievement that we've had. But on some more stories, and winner of this year's Ghana's Strongest Reality Show, Damien Smith, today paid a visit to the offices of title sponsors Gassim. Uh, in a move to send this appreciation for their massive support for bodybuilding in the country. Smith says he feels invincible after winning his third title. Now, Anderson, father's report. Ghana's strongest champion of champions winner, Damien Smith, and first runner-up, Prosper Dakora, together with some executives of Media General, paid a curtsy call on the show's title sponsor, Gassam Limited. Management of Gassam say they are proud to be part of the only sports reality show in the country. Shaka Zulu, in his submission, showed immense appreciation to the company and said there is the need to put in a lot more effort to support bodybuilders in the country. This um, 2021 uh, Ghana um, Strongest was, you know, the best so far. Um, new stuff came up this year, so it was good. And comp um, co compared to the other ones, you know, this was the um, biggest event. So we hope to see more from, you know, Gassem for sponsoring the uh, program. And um, with TV3 as well, the program, they have more ideas to bring up, you know, upcoming years. So we hope to see more and we thank um, SO for the support and everything. Chief Commercial Officer and Finance Director of Gassem, Ebenezer Enim Somwa, promised a long-term relationship with Media General and also hinted on the company's new direction to help the youth in the country. Gassem is forever ready and we are always uh, available to sponsor, to join you, partner you for this program. We, we see it as part of our normal uh, uh, PR activities and we will forever partner you in this. I'm talking about having a program with the youth and inviting them. These are things that we can look into. Uh, let, let, let's, let's brainstorm and see what we can do together uh, going forward. The team, led by the group head, MGTV, Stephen Shandoff, presented a plaque to the company as a token of their appreciation to partner with the Ghana's strongest brand. Well, that's all the sports news this evening here on News 360. There's more sports news on 3news.com. Cam, today we're NLA 539 direct draw results coming to you live from the Brennan Hall of the National Lottery Authority. The winning numbers for tonight's draw are...
joke. Congratulations to all Dewa NLA 539 direct winners for tonight. See you same time tomorrow. Be the next winner. Simply dial star 446 hash and select option 1 to play Dewa NLA 539 direct. You can also play at selected Lotto kiosk across the country. They were NLA 539 direct. A far winning no. It's so Kale, yeah, kind of direct. Now what's the saying? With they were NLA 539 direct, you only have to select up to five numbers from 1 to 39 to play Dow Star 446 hash across all mobile networks and select option one. With a minimum of two Ghana CDs, you can bet on direct one. Match the first number and win 20 times your stake. Direct two, match two numbers and win 45 times your stake. Direct three, match three numbers and win 400 times your stake. Direct 4, match 4 and win 5,000 times your stake. Direct 5, match all 5 numbers with 50,000 times your stake. The more you play, the more you win. Look out for the draw results on TV3 News at 7 pm. Win easy, win every day with Dewa NLA 539 Direct. Afa, win it on each show. Life must be enjoyed. Life must be lived to the fullest. And that is why IO is making insurance accessible to all Ghanaians. With over 5 million Ghana cities claims paid, we continue to bring smiles to all MTN subscribers across the country. A life or hospital cover for as low as 4 Ghana cities per month, yet giving us so much to be happy for. We share the goodness IO brings with everyone. Dial star 296 hash and follow the prompts to register for IO Recharge with Care. Registration is free. Ayo, because you care. Terms and conditions apply. Underwritten by Metropolitan Life Insurance Ghana. We believe in the promise of your talent. We believe in your zeal to succeed. Your passion for building a great future. We see your imaginations coming to life. Work your way up. Leave the push to us. We'll build a future with you protected because we've seen humanity through it all in over 175 years. We know you will make it. Be inspired by the future, imagine it and live it. At Old Mutual, we support you with total insurance solutions for individuals and corporate organizations. Let's help you achieve your financial dreams with our tailor-made pension plans. Old Mutual, over 175 years of doing greater things. Entertainment news segment is brought to you by Puma Drinks. Our new take here at Kufu and in entertainment this evening, versatile Ghanaian rapper Amrado has dared fellow rapper Obibini to go into the studio and reply him if he feels offended by the Woudini verse he used while on Tim Westwood's show. The We Outside rapper also made it clear that he's not scared of the Yadi composer, arguing that Obibini is not above him when it comes to achievements. Okay, uh, speaking for myself, mm. do you think I'll be on a world platform and be, excuse me, uh, throwing shots at somebody I have been working extra harder than. What will I give? You've been working extra harder than. Yeah, I respect Obibini. He's a big brother, but mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't use that platform to diss him or something. Obibini, last time I was, I was listening to Sarkozy on his FM and he said, most of the times when he's writing and your name pops up and it fits the rhyme and it makes sense, he's not going to take it out. That is the rapper's ego. It has to fit in so that the lyrics will be. So you know that this exactly. is Akwa, no, see a friend Udini. Udini is a key word. But you said if I, I wanted to, if Ubini. I wanted to jab Obini, I would use Obini. But I'm not scared. Udini is his tag. I know. Uh -huh. I know he's his tag. Uh -huh. But this is the rapper, rapper's ego, and I, I believe that if he doesn't like what I said, he should go to the studio and diss me. I'm ready. But is it fair that Otini Baby Jane? No, no, rapper the only so Jane. Baby, 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 baby. Rapper the only ready for battle. It's for the culture. It's for the culture. Rapper the only so. But he says Unruye. And I saw one boy Adi, and I know one Adi. But why would you be sitting there saying I'm Radun Ruye? Eh, he says Un Ruye. Why has he achieved more than me? He shouldn't get me pissed. Hey. Now, the CEO of the National Gospel Awards, Peter Kwabna Jubing Sergio, says its hybrid Song of the Year category, which celebrates secular artists, is to draw them closer to God. Some industry folks have disagreed with the move, describing it as anti gospel. But organizers say the category can't be taken off. They are from the church. And so why push away people from the church? They only do a different 
genre of music which is not evil the fact that they don't do strictly christian music does not mean that we can't consider them 26 categories one for them hybrid to encourage them to do more gospel songs it's good for us the board of a national gospel music awards created the hybrid song of a year category in 2019 to award artists whose music is not considered as gospel but its content tend to inspire hope and motivate listeners organizers are optimistic the move will whip up interest and motivate secular musicians to do more collaborations with their gospel counterparts we had people bashing us saying we are antichrist and the rest of them but you see the funny thing is that people who actually spoke so much about it at the end of the day you see them moving with Kwame Eugene, you see them moving with Shatawali, you see them moving with Sarkwadi and the rest of them. So why the hypocrisy? If the pastors bring them to the churches to sing for us and you go out there and you treat that this guy is spirit filled and the Ghana National Gospel Music Awards bring the category like the hybrid category and you turn your back to say no, this is gospel like. Who is Satan like? Big names like Kwame Eugene, Famiye, Flo King Stone, and others will battle for the hybrid song of the year at the 2021 awards scheduled to take place on August 28. That's it for entertainment this evening. Have a good evening. Please, can you give me the direction? Ask anyone. Okay, madam. Madam Panchi P. Why you go Panchi P? A uh, Corso Road. Now, where is number four and Nimde Avenue? Corso! Front right, sharp left. Please, direct me to number four and Nimde Avenue. Corso! What can you go Panchi P? And give me direction to number four and Nimde Avenue. Corso! Thank you. Please, can you direct me to number 24 and Nimde Avenue? Keep going with the goodness of the new Fan Yoga Panchi Peach. So cool, so good. Come wherever you are on planet football. You can go anywhere in the world. But nobody feels football like we do. And they sing, they dare to sing. It's a rhythm. Oh, one, two. One, one, two. Football. Le football. Soccer. One, two. That moves us. Salah to settle it. There's no feeling like that feeling. It's so nice, it's so nice. Nothing compares to D. TV's unbeatable football offering. So stay connected to watch the best football on the planet. Can be part of the extraordinary world of endless possibilities on Vodafone. With the best value and amazing data offers and services available in Ghana, your dreams are achievable. Get more for less with Vodafone Data. Vodafone, together we. Well, thank you for staying with us here on News 360. Remember to go on the Google Play Store and the App Store to download the three news app. Is the latest on the block. Exciting features you'll find there. Join me and the rest of the team tomorrow morning on 3FM 92.7 from 5.55 a.m. to 10 a.m. My name is Alfred Okansi. And I am Portia Gabo. Good evening. Ashoko, and I'm going to be sharing some simple recipes that you can try at home using Ghana's number one yogurt, Nutri Day. Today, I'm making my favorite smoothie, the strawberry mango smoothie. It's got strawberry, 
mango, bananas, 